Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be connecting up this adapter to this WISE lithium iron phosphate battery so we can plug in car accessories to it. So this is the sparking six foot adapter. Now in this video, I'll also be using this charger and this car charger. And these were both provided to me for previous videos, but they have no association with this video. And I will put links below to all of this in the description. Now I did pay for the adapter and the battery myself. So this is a lithium iron phosphate battery. It looks kind of like a car battery, has a very high capacity, and these are often used in things like RVs and boats. We could also use this for backup power in your house. The most efficient way to use it is to hook up 12 volt accessories. So that's where this comes in. Now this is not going to be as versatile as using something like an inverter, but this is going to be very efficient. So on one end, we have ring terminals. The positive side has a fuse. That fuse is 15 amps. The other side has a 12 volt socket. So you can plug in the same accessories you plug in in a car, so long as they're under that 15 amp limit. So this battery has some screw terminals on it. Now we also will eventually need to charge this. That's where the Celnovo charger comes into play. Now this charger did come with clamps I could clamp on here, but if I want a more permanent installation, it also came with these screw terminals. So maybe you see where we're going with this here, but I'll remove these two screws and I'll put them through the screw terminals. Now when I'm putting these on here, I want to look at the orientation of the eyelets. So this has this plastic down. I won't fit on like that. I'll need to make sure that's up towards the top. And then I'll take the other eyelet and I'll rotate that to a different angle. And that will go in here. Now I don't have anything connected to this. It's not plugged into the charger or any 12 volt accessories, but I'll do the same with the other side. And then I'm using a number three screwdriver to tighten this down. So it looks like there's not quite enough room for this bottom terminal. Look into that a little bit. I'm going to put the smaller terminal on top. I think that'll fit a little bit better. So now I have a place to plug in a charger and I can plug something into this. So first let's just try charging it. So I'll plug the charger into power, then I'll press mode. And on this charger, the last mode is lithium iron phosphate. So that is on lithium iron phosphate mode. I'll plug in here and here we're charging it. So you could also connect this up to solar, but the other end we have the socket and here we'll plug in this car charger for a phone. So I'm just using this because it's a simple, easy thing I can plug in here. But you could also plug in an inflator for an air mattress. You could plug in a fan. You could plug a small inverter in here. If you have a larger inverter, you'd want to connect it directly to the battery. But here we have 65 watt PD on this charger. And here I have a MacBook. So I'll plug in to the USB-C here. And now I'm powering the laptop with the battery. So this would run the laptop for a very long time. I don't know how many chargers you get out of it, but here you have 1,280 watt hours. And the laptop probably has maybe 50 some, but you will have some losses due to this, but otherwise it's relatively efficient. If you used an inverter, you'd have to convert the electricity from 12 volts to 120 volts, then the power adapter for the laptop would change it from 120 down to the charging voltage for the laptop. So this is a very efficient setup. So another thing you could connect to this is a portable fridge. So if you have a power outage, you could connect up that fridge, place your most important items from your refrigerator into the portable fridge and keep them cold for quite a bit of time. So that's how you can connect up 12 volt accessories to a lithium iron phosphate battery. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.